Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Morn here on behalf of Nemico Games Workshop, here today to show off our latest project, No Firewood. No Firewood is a survival horror first person shooter in a post-apocalyptic setting. Here you are seeing one of our snowy maps, set in Wyoming near Yellowstone, it has a lot of wide open areas where you can find cover and shelter from the enemies that pursue you. There are a lot of maps in the game, such as forest maps, snow maps, desert maps, urban maps, jungle, and so on and so forth. Each one has a campsite, which you can see here in front of you. Not all of the campsites will have as many items as this, but we have rigged this one for gameplay purposes. All the maps in the game have varying sizes and different items and enemies that you will find on each map. There are a lot of different kinds of weapons in the game, including firearms and melee weapons, some of which include the shotgun, M1911 pistol, fire axe, and katana. All have varying damages, attack speeds, so on and so forth. Some of these items you will find near your campsite or maybe out in the world, hidden or out in the open. Some of the weapons you'll simply be able to just pick up, and some you'll have to buy with campfire points, which are earned by collecting firewood and bringing it to your campfire. That goes the same for ammunition, health pickups, and so on and so forth. Points in no firewood are earned by collecting firewood and returning it to your campfire. By doing so, your campfire increases its light intensity and light range. In campaign mode, the campfire light and intensity will cause enemies to not wander into your campsite as often. However, on survival mode, enemies will choose to attack and chase you wherever you are on the map and no matter how intense your campfire's light is. With the points that you earn by collecting firewood and adding it to your campfire, you can buy power-ups, which are either located around the map, or which are spawned by your campfire when your campfire reaches 25% intensity. Some of those power-ups include battery for your flashlight, ammunition, special weapons, and health power-ups. Eventually, overall score will be tracked as a high score, which will affect your online rankings on the leaderboard, and will also allow you to see who out of all your friends is the most experienced camper? In No Firewood, you have two main game modes. You have Campaign, where you go from map to map, completing the objectives and encountering enemies and gaining items and so on and so forth. And you have Survival, where you stick around your campsite, look for items and weapons and so on and so forth, but the zombies come to you in waves and you have to try to survive. There are two types of survival. There's normal survival and hardcore. In hardcore mode, you don't have campfire power-ups, you have less weapons, the enemies are harder to defeat, and there are more of them. Another game mode that we are currently working on and that we are really excited about is Kill or Die. Now we can't really go into the details, but what we can tell you is that you're set in a building and that you have to try to escape the building before it gets overrun. In Kill or Die, it's not the traditional no firewood survival horror experience. Instead, we are going for a throwback to the Doom era of games in a run-and-gun, kill-all, or die. We are planning on showing off Killer Die mode in a separate developer preview down the road. There are many different types of infected enemies in the game, some of which are zombies, some of which are animals. The zombies include slow zombies, fast zombies, vomiting zombies, and a large tank-like creature which we don't have a name for yet. Besides the infected zombies, you have a large variation of infected animals and other creatures. There are also unknown monsters in the game which you will most likely just want to run away from. All of these enemies have varying amounts of strength, speed, and health, making you really want to choose and strategize how you go about killing each one of them. With no firewood, we really wanted to make the amount of atmospheric immersion and sense of suspense really intense. To do so, we have added in a lot of film effects and a lot of atmospheric effects such as fog, rain, snow, and so on and so forth. These effects really help set the mood for the game and help give for a very claustrophobic feel. These effects such as fog, snow, and rain can make it really, really easy to get lost in the world. So keeping a sense of direction is extremely important when playing No Firewood. We are currently hard at work on No Firewood, and there's a lot more about the game that we'd like to show you. Over the coming weeks, we plan to show off a lot more developer previews of the game, so make sure to stay tuned. With the help from you guys and Kickstarter, we plan to really take No Firewood to the next level. With more enemies, better enemy AI, better sounds, better film effects, and so on and so forth, we plan to really make No Firewood the best survival horror experience you guys have ever played. 
We hope you guys have enjoyed what you've seen here today, and we can't wait to get the game into the hands of the people that want to play it. Make sure to check out the No Firewood website at nofirewood.nemico.co. Follow us on Twitter at Nemico Network, and also check out our Kickstarter campaign now. There's a lot coming over the next couple of weeks, and we plan to release our first alpha development build very soon. But for now, from all of us over here at Nemico Games Workshop, we wish you guys happy camping.